Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part 10 of my Android development tutorial. Today and in the next couple of tutorials, I'm going to show you how to make an address app using Android and SQLite. And you're going to be able to add contacts and delete contacts and edit contacts. And I'm also going to show you how to create the whole SQLite database using code inside of Android. So I have a lot to do, so let's get into it. Okay, so here I am inside of Eclipse, and I need to come over here, of course, and I'm going to have to create myself a new project. So I'm going to go New, Android Application Project, and I'm going to call this Address Book App. Pretty simple. And I'm going to change this to my web address to avoid any conflicts. Of course, you could put your name in there if you don't have one of those. And I'm going to leave everything else here exactly the same. I'm down here, hit Next. And then I'm going to leave all of these different things also exactly the same as they are. And on the next screen, I'm going to leave the logo exactly the way it is. And next, and I'm going to leave blank activity exactly the way that it is. And then hit finish. And there you can see address book app has been created. And you're going to see all the folders that we we're used to seeing inside of here. And the very first thing I'm going to do is come down here. There you can see layout. I'm going to get to that in a second. But first I'm going to come down into values. And the very first thing I'm going to open is the dimensions.xml file and also the strings.xml file. And of course whenever it opens up it looks like this. So I'm going to go into dimensions.xml first and come down here and hit dimensions.xml so we can actually play with this. And I'm going to come in here and just start I'm basically just going to add one dimension inside of here and it is just going to be defined as padding underscore 5dp and this is just going to be a type of padding that I'm going to use all of the time. And that's all I'm going to do with the dimensions file and now I'm going to go into strings.xml. Again we're going to come down here into strings.xml at the bottom, hit that tab. And then we have to think about some things that we're going to need inside of an application that's going to have contacts. So I can get rid of hello world, that's gone. And if you want any of the code that's in this video there's a link in the description. Alright so app name, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to call this contact list instead. I'm going to leave settings exactly the way it is. And then I'm just going to copy a whole bunch of these different things here. And we're going to define all of the different strings we're going to use in our interface so that we'll be able to use them both for translation and also this allows us to really be able to come in here and make some easy changes. Now what did I say? I said we're going to be able to add a contact. So I'm going to need something that says add contact on it as a title. Another thing I'm going to need is first name because they're going to be able to enter their first name and I'm just going to put first name inside of here and I'm taking it a little bit slow because some people ask me to do a little bit slower tutorial than what I normally do just to make sure all this stuff's ingrained. Last name and again these are going to be used on the interface here in a second. I'm also going to need phone number Come in here and type phone number. Also going to need email address and home address. And all of this information is going to be stored inside of the database. And for this, I'm just going to put address, just plain and simple. Okay, some other things I'm going to need. Well, if I want to be able to list my contacts out on the screen, I'm going to need a title for that. And I'm going to call this contacts title. And I'll come in here and just type in contacts. Another thing, if I want to be able to add a contact, well, I'm going to need some sort of button that I'm going to click on or the user's going to click on when they want to add a contact. So I'm just going to call this the add button. And I'm going to put add in uppercase letters. And I'm also, I know I'm going to need to save the contacts. So I'm just going to call this save data. And here I'm just going to type in save. And some of these things might change. I'm going to try to keep this nice and loose so that you really get a feel for how all this stuff's being put together. So you'll be able to do it right out of your head. Another thing, they're going to be able to come in here and edit contacts. So I'm going to call this edit contact title. And I'm going to put edit contact. And then also if they're going to be able to do all those different things, they're probably going to need a button that is going to be clicked on to edit the contact. I'm just going to call that edit. And then finally I'm going to also allow them to delete contacts. So I'm going to call this delete button and then just put delete. And for now that is enough information. I'm going to save that again. We're in strings.xml and that is in the values folder over inside of this guy here inside of the resources folder. All right, so we got that out of the way, but I'm going to keep strings open because I think I'm going to need it. 
Well, now we're going to get into activity main, and you can see it's throwing some errors, but that's okay. Let's get rid of that. Well, we definitely want to get rid of hello world. That's gone. That's the reason why it was throwing an error anyway, and we definitely don't want to print that. Now, for this guy, I'm going to use a table layout. So I'm going to type in table layout there instead of relative, which is what it was previously. And the reason I'm using table layouts is I think for beginners, they're a lot easier to use. And I'm going to leave a lot of this exactly the same, except I'm going to come in here and get rid of all this padding nonsense. And whenever you're going to be using a table layout, you're going to be creating a whole bunch of table rows. So I could do it in a couple different ways. I could actually create it out here, come down, click on graphical layout, and there you can see that it opened up for me. And then come down here where it says layouts and open that up. And then you're going to see table row is going to be an option for that. And I'm just going to grab that guy and drag him over here and drop him inside of the table layout. And let's make sure in activity main it actually went in there. Yes, you can see table rows right here. Now I could have typed all this out, but that would have taken a lifetime. And normally when I define these table rows, I don't really worry about giving them a distinct name because I never go in and actually change any of that stuff. But I almost always come in here and change this to match parent. That way it opens up and looks nicer on more and more different devices. Well then inside of this, I'm going to actually create some text views. So I'm going to jump back over into the graphical layout again. Here I am again. And I'm going to come up into text fields, or actually form widgets. And then I'm going to come over here. You can see text view. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm going to drag it again and drop it inside of there. And there we go. And then on top of that, I'm going to put in a button that whenever it's clicked is going to allow them to add a new contact to this guy. So I'm just going to grab button right here and drag it over and drop it inside of there. So there we go. It's kind of a mess right now, but I'm going to fix it. So I'm going to go back down into activity main.xml and you can see all this stuff all over the place. Well, I'm going to come into text view and this guy's going to do quite a bit of different things. This is going to be the title that's across the top of the screen. So I'm going to call this contacts title text view. Give it a nice descriptive name so I know exactly what it is whenever I look at it. I'm going to leave these both as wrap content. That works perfectly because I have my table row that's handling matching the parent and making sure that everything fits inside of it. But I'd also like to be able to come in here and put some text inside of it. Jump out into the graphical layout again. And I'm actually going to do a couple other different things. Like, for example, you can see that this is budding up next to this. So I want to add some padding to it. So what I'm going to do is go in here and look for margin left over here on the right side of the screen. And you're actually going to be able to find that by going into layout right here and clicking on this and then coming into margins and clicking on that. And there you can see. And margin left, I'm going to click on this and I'm going to switch this over to the padding 5DP. Just, uh, it's a little bit sloppy, but whatever it works. And there you can see now it looks perfectly fine. Next thing I want to do is actually put in a title for this guy. And to do that, collapse all this stuff. And you can see right here, text, text view. I'm going to come in, click on that, and then all this stuff is going to open up inside of here. And the thing that I'm going to want to use is contacts title, which I already created. And there you can see contacts shows up in there real nice. Now, the one thing I don't really like about this is it's, you know, you can't really see it. The button's as big as that. It just looks like a mess. So what I'm going to do with contacts is I'm going to actually come in here, jump down into activity main. And I do this a lot where I open things up and close them over and over again. And I'm going to come into text view, which is where I have that title. And then I'm going to change the text appearance. So to do that, I'm going to go Android text appearance is equal to. And then I'm going to put in quotes and a question mark. And you can see that Android attribute pops up here. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to type in text appearance large. And that's going to enlarge that for me. And then on top of that, I'm also going to come in and make sure that my text color, and I'm just going to do it inside here because this is something that I remember, and then just type in text color is equal to quotes hash sign FFF, which is going to represent white. And then on top of that, I'm also going to come in and make sure that this guy stretches to fill as much of the screen as possible. And to do that, I'm going to go layout weight is equal to one. Now the only problem is, is the button isn't fitting in there and it's actually jumping down to the next row. So how exactly do you fix that? Well, there's a couple other things I want to do as well. I'd like to change my background. And of course you can do this on the other screen. It's just, if you remember background, why not just type it in, which is what I find myself doing a lot. And then inside of here, I'm going to just use like a gray. So just a whole bunch of fours. Then on top of that, I'm going to want this button to trigger a function or a method to be called whenever it's clicked. 
rather than putting that all inside of my code like I have done previously. And to do that, you're going to go on click, just like that, and then you're going to reference a method that is going to be called when this button is clicked. And I'm just going to put show add contact inside of there, and I'll create that later on. And for layout width and height, I'm actually just going to come in here and delete all this all together. Don't need those. And then for text, I'm going to change that to one of the guys that I had previously, defined. And then I'm also going to just save myself some time, copy the text color from this, paste that in there. And then let's jump over into graphical layout and see what we got. And now you can see the button fits right inside of that. So I'm going to select my button and come over here to my text area. Click on this where it says button. And then I'm going to come inside of here and I'm going to look specifically for add button. And you're going to see that changed to an add. I'm also going to bounce over here to activity main.xml. Come down into the button area and I'm going to change the text size on this guy. Just go Android text size is equal to 20 SP. And that's going to allow it to change and grow as the screen size grows on it. And actually I want to go in here and actually move this padding down out of this guy and put it inside a text view. I think it feels better there. I'm going to put that right after wrap content. And I'm also going to copy and paste this guy right here. Jump up here inside a table row and change the background color to this whole entire thing to black. One, two, three, file save. And there you can see contacts and add have been added to our table layout. So now what I'd like to do is to be able to list all these contacts out on the screen. And this time what I'm going to show you how to do is how to create what is called a list view. And then what we're going to do is populate that list view later on with all of the contact entries that we have in our database. Now to create that, of course, we're going to come into layouts again and click on that and open that up. Then we're going to go into table row and I'm just going to grab that table row again, drop it inside of there, and then come down into activity main again just to make sure that everything's sorted out. And there you can see table row is again. And I'm going to change this to match parent so that it stretches across the whole entire screen. I'm going to leave everything else exactly the same. Jump back into the graphical layout, and then I'm going to come down here to where it says composite. Click on that, come up here, and then you are going to see list view. And I'm going to drag list view over inside of that table row and drop it inside of there. And you can see it populates with some garbage sort of content. I'll save that, bounce back into activity main, come down inside of here, make sure everything lines up beautifully. I'm just going to change this to list. Just get rid of that. Match parent, wrap content, all look fine to me. Except I want it to stretch the whole way across the screen. And anytime I want to do that, I'm going to go and set the layout weight to 1. Right like that. So now it's going to stretch across the screen. If we file save, you can see. See, fills the whole entire screen. Blue dot, blue dot, before the list view is kind of constrained. Come back inside again. And that is basically all that we need to do with that guy. So there we go. We have our activity main.xml file all set up. We have a whole bunch of strings set up and some dimensions as well. And the next thing I'm going to do is come over here inside of layout and create another activity. Now this activity is actually going to be all of the entries that are going to go in the list view. So new. And I'm going to come down inside of here and see if I have Android XML file. Yes, I do. Click on that. And there it is. And I'm going to call this guy contact underscore entry and this guy is actually going to be a table row so I'm going to scroll through here until I see table row and select that click on next don't worry about any of this and click on finish and there we go we have this brand new contact entry dot XML file and like I said all of these guys are going to be inserted into our list view so we come in here and see what we need to change table row that's all fine that's all fine width I want this to be fill parent to make sure that it fills the list view whenever we put it inside of there. Height, I actually want this to be wrap content. Got that set. And then inside of it, what I'm going to put are all of the text views that are going to contain information that I pull from my database. So I'm actually going to go into the graphical layout and I'm going to come in here again. There's text view. We're going to drag it down, drop it inside of there. And then we're also going to grab another text view and throw that inside of there. What this is going to be whenever it's all done is just a list of your contact names. But for now, I'm just going to leave it that way. Now let's say that I wanted to go and put some information here on our screen like the contacts ID, but I didn't want it to show. Well first what we're going to do is get the busy work out of the way and that's going to be fill parent and wrap contents perfectly fine. And then whenever we come down here to the text area, well it's not going to show on the screen so we don't even want that there. Instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the visibility equal to gone. 
and that way it won't show on the screen but that information will still be there. So that's one way to put some information there without having it actually display on the screen. I do however want my contacts name to show up on the screen so I'll be able to sort through and find the right contact. So for ID here I'm actually going to change this into contact name layout with again I'm going to change this to fill parent and then wrap contents going to be perfectly fine and if I want to come in here and change my padding again that I'm actually going to do over in the graphical layout and you can see there's only one text view here now we click on that text view we can come over here and look for our padding and there's padding right there come over there click on it and let's just change this to padding 5 dp just like before so that moved it in off the left side of the screen a little bit also come in here and let's say I wanted to change my text color well there's the text color option but I'm actually going to come over into contact entry and just change it inside of here because I don't want to have to define the color for it this time and we did this before Android text color is equal to hash sign and I'm going to make that the gray like I had before text size since I'm in here what the heck might as well change that as well I'm going to change this to Android text size is equal to and I'm going to change this to 20 SP as well and then if I also want to come in here and define my text style and make it bold so that the contacts show up a little bit better just change that to bold and that actually isn't going to show anything at this time because I don't have any content there and I'm actually going to get rid of text view altogether so that nothing shows up inside of there because like I said before contact entry is going to contain all of the contact entries that are going to go into the activity main list view that you see right there and that's all I'm going to cover in this part of the tutorial. I just want to keep this very easy and understandable. Please leave any questions or comments below. Otherwise, till next time.